ever tried writing simple queries only to end up with 10 joins, some broken logic and a report that takes 30 minutes to load if it loads at all? Or maybe you've built a report that works great until someone asks you to filter by region or customer segment and suddenly you realize it's not that simple. Sounds familiar, right? That's what happens when your data isn't structured for analytics, when it's not business ready. The good news? There is a solution that simplifies your data, boosts performance and makes reporting easier for everyone, and it's called the Star Schema in Data Modeling. And today we are going to break it all down. Hey there, I'm Yevgen from OVAX. Welcome back to the channel where we talk all things about marketing, analytics, data modeling, spreadsheets, reporting and everything in between. In this video, I'll walk you through the Star Schema, a powerful way to organize your data that is optimized for reporting, analysis and query speed. We'll explore how it works, how to build one and how it can turn your scattered business data into clean, structured insights, fast and easy. Whether you are a data analyst, a BI specialist or even if you are a business user just like me, struggling to pull insights on your own because you are tired waiting for your turn in a data analyst queue to help you. This video will help you understand how a star schema can be a total game changer. And if you are following our full series on data modeling, this video is already number four in building a reliable reporting system that scales. You can watch the previous videos right here. Now, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell below if you want more practical tips like this one every single week. With this being said, Let's dive right in. All right, let's break down the star schema. What is a star schema in data modeling? Think of it as a go-to blueprint for organizing business data in a way that's the most simple, works fast and built for reporting. You've got one big central table, the heart of it, the fact table. This is where all the numbers live, sales amounts, quantities, profits, you name it and surrounded it a handful of dimensions tables like customers, products, dates or regions that give context to those numbers. The structure looks like a star, which is how it's got its name. The design is also known as the Kimball data model. After Ralf Kimball, one of the godfathers of data warehousing, he championed this model back in the 90s for one simple reason – it just works. Why? because it makes querying and reporting ridiculously efficient. Instead of joining a dozen normalized tables just to figure out what were our sales last month, you've got one clean fact table with clear relationships to human-friendly dimensions tables. That means easier to write SQL, less processing time and a much smoother experience for analysts, for the BI tools and even business users, but I will tell you about this a bit later how business users can even care about the schema of the database. It's no wonder that star schema have become the foundation, the starting point for data warehouses, dashboarding tools and self-service analytics platforms like OVAX BI. Simple structure, powerful insights – that is the star schema. Let's bring this to life with a real-world scenario. Imagine you are working at a retail or an e-commerce company. You've got sales data flying in from stores, customer orders, product catalogs and time logs. But everything is stored in different systems, different spreadsheets and most likely completely different formats. Now your CEO asks, can I see which customer segments are buying which products the most by region and by month? If your data is in structure, this question turns into an hour or maybe a few hours, maybe even a day task. You'll gather data, use some VLOOKUPs, joins, filters and late nights. Because that's a SEO request, you want to handle it quicker. But with a star schema, that question becomes a one-minute report, literally one minute to write SQL and get the data you need. Look, any data model would simplify this process, but star schema will speed it like a rocket ship. In this example on the screen, you can see how this is solved with a clean star schema. At the center, you've got the sales fact table storing things like revenue, quantity sold, discounts applied. 
and it's linked out to dimension tables that give context. Product dimension tables for what was sold, customer dimensions table for who bought it, store dimension table for where it happened, and time dimension table for when. This structure means your analysts don't have to think twice about the join path when building a query every time. Business users, when data is modeled this way, when it's modeled right, they can answer questions themselves using tools like Aux BI Search and Bari, Sales by Region and Customer Segment, and getting real answers fast. Even the CEO can use our chat to get the answers to his questions with data right into where he lives spreadsheets. No SQL knowledge is required, no waiting analysts. With a star schema, your data model becomes the backbone of self-service analytics. Queries run faster, dashboards load instantly, and reports are accurate and trusted across different teams. And suddenly, instead of chasing data, you are using it to drive real business decisions. And I'm not talking that other schemas are bad. This video is about why star schema is great not the other way around. We'll talk about the other models later today and in another videos on this channel, so make sure you're subscribed. So now that you've seen the full picture, let's break the star schema down into its building blocks. Let's talk more about those facts and dimension tables. So first up, the fact table. This is the heart of the star schema. Think of it like your matrix engine. It stores all the measurable data points. In our example, it's revenue, quantity sold, discounts, and profits. Each row in the fact table represents a transaction or event, a sale, an order, a click, whatever metric your business tracks in your specific situation. It also contains foreign keys that connect to the dimension tables. And the level of detail in this table? That's what we call granularity. Daily sales, monthly orders, seconds for clicks. You decide what level of detail your reports should run on. Basically, more granularity means more flexibility in reporting, but also a bigger data volume, so choose wisely. Next up, dimension tables. While the fact tables tell you what happened, dimension tables tell you the who, the what, where and when. They hold the descriptive data that adds context to your metrics. That's why they are called dimensions. For example, product dimension might include category, brand and supplier. A customer dimension includes region, age, group and segment. Time dimension? It's about dates and you might go deeper into month, quarter and year. Store dimensions shows location and store type. These dimensions are your filters, your slicers and drill down path in your BI dashboard. Each dimension has a primary key which links back to the fact table's foreign key. That's how everything stays connected in your schema. Now, attributes. Attributes are the individual columns inside each dimensions table. For example, in product dimension, it's product category, brand and price. In customer dimension, it's region, segment and gender. These attributes help you group, filter and segment your data. They are the secret source behind every meaningful chart or pivot table. And finally, attribute hierarchies. Now this part is where Star Schema really shines for reporting. Let's say you are analyzing sales over time. Do you want to, to look at this year, the quarter, the month? With hierarchies, you can do all that above. You define them like this. For the time hierarchy, you go year, quarter, month, and day. For product hierarchy, you go category, subcategory, product name. Region hierarchy, country, state, city. This structure gives you the drill down power. Start at the high level, zoom into the details without building new reports every time. And just like that, your data becomes navigable, whether you're an analyst running SQL or a business user exploring a dashboard. So far, we've unpacked the structure, but let's talk about why Star Schema is the go-to for reporting BI and analytics teams worldwide. Because it's not just about clean data, it's about speed, usability and business impact, so let's go. 
Number 1. Faster queries. Let's be real, nobody wants to wait minutes for a dashboard to load. With Star Schema, you skip all the messy multi-step joins. You've got one central fact table directly connected to dimensions. So when you run a query, it's like going from A to B. No detours, no rabbit holes, just quick answers. That's why your dashboards feel snappy and your analysts stop pulling their hair out. Number 2. It's easy for non-technical users. Look, you don't need to be a SQL wizard to work with a star schema. Its structure is intuitive, which means that even business users can explore some data, ask some questions and generate reports without bugging the data team every day. Want to filter revenue by product category and region? It's two clicks away. Done. No join gymnastics is required. Number 3. Better performance in BI tools. Look, as I mentioned Ralph Kimball, Star Schema was made for data warehousing, all up and dashboarding. Tools like Power BI, Looker Studio, Tableau and, of course, OWAX BI are optimized for querying speed and this structure. This means dashboards load faster, charts render smoother, slicer and filters well, they just work without you waiting for it. It's like giving your BI tool a performance boost without upgrading the engine. Number 4. Because Star Schema stores data at a consistent granular level, like daily sales, you can get clean historical trends, which means you can forecast next quarter's revenue, spot some seasonal dips or spike, build better marketing and sales strategies. Want to compare Q1 this year to Q1 last year? Yes, it's easy, it's built into the time dimension. Boom! And here is a quick comparison, Star Schema vs Snowflake Schema, probably one of the most famous aside of the Star Schema. So stay here for a while and read the content in this table, or check the article I've mentioned in the description. Basically, the Star Schema keeps things simple fast and self-service ready. That's why it's used by data-driven teams across retail, finance, SaaS, all of the industries. So, now you're sold on the star schema, or at least you're getting there. But how do you actually implement it in the real world? Let's break it down step by step. Your fact table is where the magic happens. It holds the measurable stuff. Just remember to pick the right level of details up from because that decision defines everything else. Rule of thumb, choose the lowest level of granularity your reporting refreshes needs. Daily? That's typically ok. And build up from there. But look, each fact needs context. So next go with dimensions tables. Each one gives you more ways to slice your data, filter and explore it. Include attributes like category, brand, loyalty status, quarter, weekday, whatever helps answer real business questions with precision. Whatever names your business users are using in their queries to you. And yes, those attributes are what power drill downs in dashboards. Next, don't just dump raw transactional data into your fact table. Take time to clean it, standardize formats, and align it with your dimensions. Missing values? Fix them. Mismatched IDs? Resolve them. Different time zones? Normalize them. This prep work is what makes your reporting actually reliable. And once your tables are ready, do not skip this step. Index your foreign keys, for example, product ID and the customer ID. Partition your large tables, like by month or by date. And this is how you keep queries blasting fast even as your data grows from thousands to millions of rows. Because trust me, nothing kills reporting adoption across the company like waiting for data spinners. And finally, use the right software tools. For example, OWAX BI makes this 10x easier. Look, building a star schema can be a technical job, unless you use the right tools. So for example, OWAX BI gives you the pre-built data modeling template a visual interface to define dimensions, relationships and hierarchies. Schedule transformation so you don't need to run manual SQL every day. Validation and data quality checks. Collaboration between analysts and business users. And the best part? 
You can try it out right now and skip over 90% of the manual setup. The link is in the description down below if you're ready to give it a shot. Alright, you've got your fact and dimension tables lined up. But before you hit go on your pipeline, let's make sure you build it right from day one. Here are some of the battle-tested best practices to keep your star schema fast, clean and future-proof. Number 1. Do not rely on natural keys like emails or names. They change. They are messy. They break joints. Instead, generate surrogate keys for each dimension. Unique, stable and much easier to manage in the long run. Number 2. What happens when a customer moves regions? or a product changes category. If you do not plan for this, your historical data will lie to you. Solution? Use slowly changing dimensions type 2, add in new row when start and end dates, or type 1, override the data, depending on your business use case. This way, your model captures changes over time without breaking the past. Number 3. Your model might look fine. But if the numbers do not match your source system, people will lose trust really fast. Compare sample rows against raw data, recalculate your metrics manually to cross-check, use automated validation tools – yes, OXBI does this as well – and do not skip this. Even a 1% mismatch in revenue can mean thousands of dollars in loss. Following these best practices will save you hours of debugging boost teams' trust in your reports and make your whole data stack more scalable. Now, let's wrap it all up with the final thoughts and takeaways. We've just unpacked everything you need to know about Star Schema, what it is, how it works, and why it's the go-to structure for analytics, reporting, and building a scalable data model. So what's the key here? A well-designed Star Schema doesn't just speed up your queries. It actually simplifies the whole reporting, makes dashboards more reliable, and empowers your entire team to explore data without writing complex signal. So, are you ready to stop hacking to get reports and finally build a clean, structured and scalable data model? Start using OWAX BI today and let your business run on the insights, not guesswork. Get access to pre-built star schema templates for e-commerce, SaaS, retail, and much more. Design your model once and let analysts, marketers, and execs all speak the same data language. Build a self-service analytics system that works for everyone from data teams to business users. The link is in the description. Get started for free right now. Oh, before you go, I want to hear back from you. Have you already modeled data for your business? Are you using a star schema or struggling with one? What's been the biggest challenge in your reporting setup? Drop your answers in the comments. I read all of them and I might even create a future video answering one of the questions you guys ask. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and do not forget to hit that bell so you never miss a deep dives like this one. Thanks for watching, I'm Yevgen from OVAX and as always, stay data-driven. Be curious about your reports and happy analyzing.